What's going on guys? Phil here with King and Wintag Racing. And today I'm gonna to show you how to adjust your spread and span. Now before we get started, there is something to keep in mind. If you're on the shorter end or your athlete's on the shorter end, you're gonna want your pins closer into the gunnels to get a shorter spread. And if you're on the taller end or your athlete's on the taller end, you're gonna want your pins further out from the gunnels for a wider spread. Now to adjust and measure your spread, you're gonna need a few things. First of which being a tape measure. And then depending on if it's a regular rigger or a C-cup rigger, you're gonna need either a 19 millimeter wrench or an Allen key. Now you can also do this with a spread stick from activetools.com, which I will link in the description below. It'll just make the process a bit faster because it's self-centering and it's a bit more accurate than using a tape measure. But just since tape measures are a bit more commonplace, I'm gonna use this and show you how to do it that way. So for this tutorial, I have a C-cup bracket here. Now with C-cup brackets, before you make any measurements or adjustments, you wanna make sure the pitch is level. And if you're not sure how to do that, check out the card in the corner of your screen there. We got a tutorial showing you exactly how to do it. First, measure the width of the hull from gunnel to gunnel, which comes out to 52 centimeters in this boat. Then, divide the width by two. This will give you your center point, which is 26 centimeters in this boat. With the center point calculated, measure from the end of the far gunnel to the center of the pin, which in this boat comes out to 113 centimeters. Lastly, subtract your center point number from your full length number and you get your spread distance, which comes out to 87 centimeters in this boat. Now, since the standard spread for a pair is 86 centimeters, I'm gonna move this C-cup pin in a bit using the Allen key. I've also included standard spreads and spans for other boats on screen here. So measuring span in a sculling boat is actually very similar to measuring spread in a sweeping boat. So what you would do is do the same spread calculation as you would in a sweeping boat, but just do it on both sides of your sculling boat as the rigger will cover both sides of the boat. Now this will give you two spread numbers and those should come out to your total span number when you add them up. And you can actually check this by taking your tape measure and measuring from pin to pin. And there's not any discrepancies, you can just adjust accordingly by loosening the either 19 millimeter nut underneath the regular rigger or using that Allen key to loosen up the C cup and move that pin around as you need. All right guys, that's it for our spread and span tutorial. Be sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any future tutorials and keep up with all things King and Wintech. Thanks for watching.